What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Box and Talk. Here with WBC heavyweight champion Deontay the Bronze Bone and the Wilder. How you doing today, champ? I'm doing pretty good. Can't complain. My first question for you is, it's been a long time since we've had an American heavyweight champion. How does it feel to be that guy? I mean, it feels great. Uh, the, the, the feeling is it, it, it's definitely wonderful. Um, I've been working hard to get it. I have to change for the better. Uh, you know, I'm very active. A lot of places, traveling a lot of big places. Uh, the people that uh, gravitate to me more now. I definitely agree. Going into that fight with Stavern, did you feel any added pressure? You know, like I said, you are the first uh, American heavyweight champion since Shannon Briggs. So did you feel any added pressure going into that fight? You know, because you was obviously undefeated, you know, along with trying to make history and being the first guy since Shannon Briggs to, you know, be the first American heavyweight champion. Hey, you definitely, you know, that fight, you know, you definitely had to lead up to that fight was, was tremendous. Like, you, you're well-spoken, big personality, and I can speak for a lot of fight fans. Everybody was tuned in. Like, that's the first, I've seen a lot of people say that was the first heavyweight fight that they have truly been excited for um, in a long time. And you put on a great performance. You, you proved a lot of people wrong. And like I said, being a fellow Alabamian, I was cheering you, you know, cheering for you hard, and, and I'm glad you pulled out the W. Um, 
I'm sure you rewatched that fight. Um, is there anything in that fight that you wish you could have did a little better, and, and and you know possibly you know seal the sh you know seal the show with a KO victory, or are you just proud of how the way you performed that night? Uh, you know, when I look at it, it's nothing that I would have done different. You know, I was you know the most of, the most of all that I saw myself was doing this. I was having fun, and and, and that's what you want to do. You know, when you're in a fight, it's already brutal and crucial enough that you're gonna you finna get in there and go to war, not knowing that after the the, the last round or uh, however many many much time it goes, you're not gonna come out healthy. You're not gonna come out as you came in. So you know, to be able to go in and just have fun and relax and all right my next question is being that you're with al Heyman, is it one of your goals to participate in the pbc series to try and continue to help bring the heavyweight division back is it my goal to do what being with al Heyman, is it one of your goals to participate in the um, pbc series to try to continue to um, help bring the heavyweight division back oh most definitely i'm looking forward to my, my next fight i'm looking forward to my next fight being being on uh, BBC on uh, on NBC, you know, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to what PBS on NBC. I rephrase myself, but I, yeah, I'm definitely looking for. You know, it's free TV, whatever you call it, and uh, you know, uh, a lot of the the, the lady great guys that came before my time. You know, that's how they got their start. That's how they got their shine, and people uh, notified them for for final people. So, you know, if I don't, you know, win, I will. The uh, four million that's tuned in, man, that's awesome. That's 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 wonderful for me and as well as Python as well too, all over the world. So um, I'm definitely looking forward to it and uh, bring the heavyweight division one notch closer and being back on top, like it like it once was, like it's supposed to be. So this is the cream of the crop. This is this is the king of king. I definitely agree. And I, wanna, and I definitely want to be there at that face on Python, and I and I will be. It. I definitely believe you had a chance to do that. Um, do you plan on defending your title in front of your hometown of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, in your next fight, or or sometime down the line? Um, I definitely want to do that. Um, sometime. Um, it, it all depends. Uh, you know, my next my next fight we definitely is um got Alabama in the in the in the pullers. You know, we just got Alabama, Mississippi, uh, Atlanta, or Montreal, or Canada. So we'll see what happens. But um, intentionally, I, I definitely um be home and uh, be able to defend my, my title in front of my, my, my people at, at home. That's for sure. That's one of my goals. All right. Can't wait for that. Um, I got to ask you about the other big uh, big heavyweight champion, um, the lineal um, heavyweight champion in Vladimir Klitschko. Um, is that a fight that, that you're looking to um, make anytime soon, or you want to defend your title first and then make that fight for later on this year or early next year? younger guy, the faster, you know, and, and the stronger too. You know, I'm not, you know, for, for me, I feel like it would be in his best interest to try to get as soon as possible. You know, time is against him. You know, time is with me, but it's against him. You know, he's not going to get no better. He's not going to change things. He's going. going. It's still going to be who he is. For me, I, I'm still a baby in the game, and I still got time to adjust, to train, to change up different things about myself. Uh, if I if need be, and I'm the like I said, I'm the younger guy, you know. So if he was in this that interest, you know, he'll try to get it so as possible. I'm ready. I'm always ready. That's why I don't have to get ready for nobody because I'm always ready. I'm always in shape. Or whoever want to come with the challenge, you know, hey, that's good for me. Let's let's get it. But um, I try to. That's why it's not. It's just gonna happen. But when it's gonna happen, and I think when it happens, it's gonna be one of the the biggest fight of of, of all time. And um, it's going to be a, definitely a fight fight. So I'm um, just patient. Just like I got the girl, I'm being patient. I'm not waiting on God's time. I'm waiting on my season for that as well, too, so I can unify the division. And I will unify the division. Everything I've said, I will do. Even in my amateur career, as far as my concern, have yeah, came to pass because I believe in the power of the call. Speaking what you want in the, in, 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 in the future, and you, uh, you shall receive it. And, um, Everything I've done, I've spoken, I'm speaking of this, I will be the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world when that time comes. <laughs> Hey, I'm definitely looking forward to that fight, and I love your confidence. I have three more questions before I let you get out of here. Um, my next question is, 
Um, you and him spar have has sparred numerous of times. Could you speak a little bit on you guys sparring sessions and, and how those how those you know how it went and what things that you, did you learn from? Him? Man, that, you know that sparring session was, was was definitely awesome, man. It was one of those things that that people could could kind of preview what the fight would actually be like because every time me and the ring, we had a standing ovation from the crowds and stuff like that. We was going like this. I wouldn't even consider it a sparring, but it was almost. <laughs> Like I'm fighting, man, because you know he was buzzing, I was buzzing, and I was trying to learn to see why. Why is this guy on top for so long? You know, and um, uh, and I, I understood. I took it that he's all uh, working at it as well as I. So, you know, it was two competitive guys filling each other out for 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 a future fight. That's what it was. It, we know that when, when we fight, it's gonna be a thing that's gonna be huge and exciting, and that was just a preview of it. So um, it, it was amazing, man. Uh, and I was, uh, you know, I tell, I tell people, I, I would have went to that camp for free, you know. Um, but uh, I can't wait to, to see what happens next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's like I said, man, it's going to be a thing that's going to be huge. And uh, it's going to be awesome, man. I can't wait to see what happens next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's like I said, man, it's going to be a thing that's going to be huge. And uh, it's going to be awesome, man. I can't wait to see what happens next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's like I said, man, it's going to be a thing that's going to be huge. And uh, it's um, what are your overall thoughts on your division, the heavyweight division, and not just please go along? You know, you have a lot of up and coming talented fighters, um, and some of you know some veterans like David Hay. You got Tyson Fury, Chisor, Brian Jennings, just to name a few. What are your thoughts on the heavyweight division? I, I, I definitely think it's back a lot. That's for sure. We got a lot of, a lot of guys that um, that's putting that, you know a lot of energy and that's fighting the back into it. You know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm very happy of, of what the state is. Of, of the division, you know, it, it's coming back to where it's supposed to be, where people are talking about it, and there's a lot, man, we got a new champion, and he's American, and that makes it that much better, <laughs> you know, um, so, I'm, I'm super excited, you know, I'm, like I said again, I'm excited by uh, NBC as well, too, because, you know, you know, a lot of people won't be able to get tuned back in, they won't have to pay for, for a pay-per-view, they won't have to uh, worry about having cable and stuff like that, you know, um, it, it's gonna be great. I'm, I'm super excited. It does my heart. It, it warms my heart, and it does my heart real good. You know, to know what what lies in the future uh, for the for the for the for the division, and uh, I, I just can't wait to, to to see it back to where it was. Were and Keontae Wilder on top of the heavyweight division, man. It's gonna be great. I definitely agree. My final question is: If you could face any heavyweight in the history of boxing, who would it be, and why? Man, that's that's um, Joe Lewis was from Alabama as well too. Like, that's why I, um, I dedicated my athlete thing to him. He was the brown mama, I'm the bronze mama, mm -hmm. and um, just two Alabama boys getting in the ring, man, that would be epic. You know, he was an all-time heavyweight great, man. you know. And I'm still trying to, I'm still uh, my my legacy is started, um, and it started January the 17th, so I'm, I'm building on to it. And I would I would love if I could help with anybody, it would be him. That would have been a great fight. Um, before you get out of here, could you give um Colossal Boxing Talk a shout out and also let the fans know where they can contact you on social media? So you said Colossal Boxing. Yeah, Colossal Boxing Talk. Hello, this is Keontae the Bronze from Hawaii, the heavyweight champion of the world. I like to give Colossal Boxing a big shout out, and you guys can follow me on Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, all that Bronze family. All right, thanks, champ. You have a good rest of the day. All right, brother, you too. And there you have it. I just wrapped up my interview with WBC heavyweight champion Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Um, let me know what you thought about the interview. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to Colossal Boxing Talk, go over to Facebook, and like our Facebook page at Colossal Boxing Talk, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at ColossalCBT. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.